say goodbye to ordinary rear view mirrors and embrace the future of driving safety. In today's video, we're gonna test this amazing rear view mirror from ASDOM, and this one is a dash cam and a rear view mirror. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna test it, and we're gonna see how good it is coming up next. Also, in today's video, we're gonna announce the winner for the giveaway at the end of the video. So wait till the end of the video. Let's continue with the video. Okay guys, this is what it comes inside of the box. This is the Ace Dumb. This is the rear mirror camera. <laughs> it's amazing. And this is the camera, the rear mirror. Look at that, it's amazing. It has the camera on the rear, has some uh, vents for cooling, the speaker on the back. On the top has the micro SD slot, the slot for the, I mean the connection for the rear camera, the GPS and the connection for the power okay this is the camera it's amazing comes with the manual wipes to clean it the rear camera is right here okay with the connection comes with a red cable so you can put it on the reverse light bulb and when you hit the reverse it will you can use it at a, as a reverse camera okay this is the power cable this is the connection it's not the new connection it's the old one okay has an um, double-sided tape for the rear camera extra no that one goes in there okay this is the gps cleaning cloth trim tool and some stickers to put the cable to hide the cables the strap to a longer one and a shorter one to put it on here on the back and this is a screen protector <laughs> that's cool so you can put it on the camera like this on the on the screen and the mirror <laughs> okay also they sell some adapters for this one so you can put it as a replacement of your rear mirror but if you don't want to do that you can use it like this with the straps okay so this is everything that comes inside of the box okay and these are the connections the first one is for the power and this one the second one is for the rear view camera the third one is the slot for the micro SD card and the last one is for the GPS because I'm gonna install it and it's gonna be hard to see for you guys because it's gonna be right there on the top okay but if you wanna know that's how the connection goes Okay, the dash cam is ready. You can see the connections on the top. It's great. But this one is for the test, so I'm not gonna hide the cables right now. Probably later, but for now, this is just for the test. Okay, now it's ready. You can see the cables on the top, so the camera is ready. The side, look at that. Okay, so now it's time to test the camera. Let's turn it on. We have to connect this one on there. And now, nice, <laughs> get that, <laughs> that's nice, okay, so that's the rear view of the, cam of the camera, with one finger, if you slide it to the right, you can change the view of the screen, like that, that's the front camera, like that, and then both split screen, front and rear at the same time, and like that, that's cool okay so now let's see the buttons let's see what every every button does so the first the first one it takes a screenshot okay the second one to lock and unlock the video and now the third one here the audio to turn on and off the audio for the camera this one is to stop the recording and this one is for the Wi-Fi, I'm not gonna do it right now, we're gonna do it later with the app. And this one is for the files, the video file. Emergency, we don't have na non none of the emergency videos right now, but uh, you can see them there. Okay, we don't have files right there. Let's go back. Normal front videos, right there. 
all of them cool and then the rear right there the rear videos and front photo and the rear right there okay that's everything okay now let's see the settings for the camera you have to go to this one settings and these are the general settings okay the collision detection parking is off we're gonna leave it off the stamp you can turn it on and off right there we're only gonna leave it on the time the volume of the speaker is low we're gonna leave it low the G sensor is low I'm gonna leave it low the screen saver in three minutes you can change it to one three or five minutes <coughs> we're, gonna <coughs> we're gonna leave it in three minutes the beep sound in low I think that low is fine you can change it to low medium or high or turn it off Let's leave it low the time zone in here is the minus six but you can change it there if you want okay let's move it up now the speed unit you can change it to miles per hour or kilometer we're gonna leave miles fatigue reminder off we're gonna leave it off rear video mirror if you want to to, to switch this flip the screen you can flip it there view mode rear camera yes frequency 60 hertz you want to leave it on 60 hertz format reminder 30 days it's okay that's fine for me vertical flip for the rear camera if you want to flip the rear camera you can flip it there let me show you on and off let's leave it off for now and that's everything for the general settings let's go to the video settings resolution 2k and 1080p for the rear or you can switch it to 1080p for both cameras i'm gonna leave it like that and now the wide dynamic range is on let's leave it on the loop recording one minute three minutes or five minutes i'm gonna leave it in one minute okay that's it. everything for the video now let's go to the system language english yeah let's leave it in english you can format the sd card right there but i don't want to do it right now that's the version of this okay the gps info right there and now the default settings if you wanna in this one if you wanna turn on the settings to the default settings okay but i don't want to do it right now so that's everything for the menu okay so now let's download the app and let's see how to download the videos and how to connect the dash cam to the wi-fi okay now let's see how to connect the dash cam to the phone with the wi-fi so first we have to turn on the wi-fi so it's turning on and that's the wi-fi name with the password so now let's see if we can find it here it's pg17 it's right there you have to put this password and the Wi-Fi but I already did that so it's connected so we have to open this Ace Dom app it has to log in but we're gonna skip skip the login and that's connecting okay connecting to the dash cam yes it's connected okay so it has options you can see the the videos the audio switch the view and the video resolution okay so let's we have to stop the recording first okay and then here are the videos all right all the videos there you can click on any of the videos and download the video okay now we can delete it here you can download it here or delete it let's see <laughs> okay so it works and you can see the videos the emergency and the pictures okay now let's turn off the audio for that you have to turn off the recording you can turn it on and off right there the audio for the dash cam okay and you can switch the camera here front and rear camera right now it's on the rear camera that's okay 
And for the resolution, this is the resolution. We're going to leave it like that for now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and for the settings, they are right there on the top. You can click that one and go to the settings. But those are the same settings that we already, already did on the camera. So, I don't want to make the video too long. So, now the next thing. Let's see the video resolution for the day and the night. And let's see the quality of the videos. Let's do that next. All right, now it's time to see the resolution for the cameras. This is the front camera. This is the day view. And the front camera has a 2.5K resolution. As you can see, everything looks good. Sorry about the label that isn't on the way on my windshield. It's uh, blocking a little bit the sky, but we can see everything pretty good. As you can see, license plate looks clear. All the cars is amazing. Everything looks pretty good. Resolution, I approve it. <laughs> it looks amazing. All right, so now this is the night view for the front camera, 2.5K resolution, and it looks amazing. It is raining, but even with the rain, you can see everything pretty good. You can see the cars, the license plates. This one, the, the reflection is blocking a little bit, but as you can see here, yes, you can see it good. Even with the water that is uh, on the way, everything, it looks clean and clear. The water is blocking a little bit the view, but everything looks pretty good, even with the water. And now it's time to see the rear camera. This is the day view for the rear camera. The rear camera is at 1080p resolution. It still looks uh, good. When the car is far away, it's a little bit hard to see it. But when the car it gets closer to the camera, you can see better the license plate okay just in case you are in an accident but for the day everything it looks clean and clear that's great and the resolution uh, is great for the for the rear camera during the day okay so let's see the night and let's see the difference and now this is the night view for the rear camera 1080p resolution but it is amazing it has a night vision too the front and the rear camera, both of the cameras, they have night vision and it looks amazing. Even with the rain, the rain is uh, blocking a little bit the resolution. But as you can see, you can see the license plate pretty good. You can see the cars, everything. It looks great. The night vision for the rear camera, it's amazing. It looks pretty good. I approve this one. <laughs> okay, and those were the day and night view for the front and rear camera okay day view and night view resolution okay the resolution is great for both cameras it has a starbeast 2 uh, uh, chip that helps with the night vision for both cameras so i think it's great and also it is a screen for the rear view mirror that's amazing and also if you want to turn the screen off you can turn it off by just uh, clicking on the screen okay so that's amazing so the link for this product is going to be on the description of the video down below if you like the video please like the video that helps the channel a lot subscribe for more videos like this one and thank you for watching and now let's see who is the winner for the camera from the previous video okay thank you for watching see you bye okay now we're gonna announce the winner for the giveaway i'm gonna put the comment here and the channel name here so congratulations to the winner contact me on instagram or facebook okay so thank you for participating on the giveaway we are going to have another giveaway but that information is gonna be on the next video okay so we have a lot of cameras to give away for you guys this is my way to say thanks to you guys for supporting the channel for liking the videos and watching my videos okay <laughs> thank you and another giveaway coming on the next video so hit the notification bell subscribe for more videos like this one if you like the video please like the video thank you for watching and see you on the next video Bye.